Here we are. It's Monday, August 6th, 2018. 34th day of banning from the UN by Antonio Guterres, who has, only yesterday, received a filing demanding full restitution, full reinstatement, or recusal due to conflict of interest, Cameroon taking the golden statue, FTSE with the Fifth Committee, roughing up a press. It's truly disgusting. When the full story comes out, <laughs> they'll... There will have to be changes made because it's a corruption that is unprecedented at the United Nations. The physical assault of a journalist with the green light of the spokesman of the Secretary General, the head of the Department of Public Information, and the Secretary General himself. Yes, the filings have gone in. You can find them on intercitypress.com. We've come back. Day 34. Now, also a filing with Peter Drennan of DSS. Yes, a filing for harassment and misconduct against Lieutenant Dobbins and five other officers. Formal filing under the UN rules. We get 34 days. People, this Drennan was written to. These, and so, a new era begins. Now we're heading to our stakeout position. Since we can't be on the inside. Ha, ah, insiders. Now, someone's going to have to also ask these media that remain silent as the journalist was beaten up by the UN. Was it Reuters with their Myanmar Reuters reporters? Not reporters, Reuters reporters. See, regular reporters aren't worthy of protection. Just Reuters reporters. What about Al Jazeera? What about journalism is not a crime? What about it? It's, it's, it's August. Guterres is away. All of his appointments are internal. Of course, they're not in New York. I don't know. what he, Maybe he's at an internist. Maybe he's under a sprinkler in Portugal. I don't know. His speech for Japan, where he's headed has already been distributed by Kyoto and Mainichi. How did they get it? It's not even on the website. Oh, that's how he makes friends. The doling out of information to compliant media. Tried it with Al Jazeera and they supported him. That's our opening. That's our opening statement. To be continued. It's hot out here. 91 degrees in the shade. Okay, here we are. It's Monday, August 6th. It's around 4 p.m. We've written a number of stories today, maybe six. I think we'll hit ten. Look, the flags are coming down. You know why? Because the UN is for sale. And today for the noon briefing, we submitted six questions, including Cameroon. Why are you taking these soldiers that were just shown on film to be killing people, in North, uh, uh, shooting women and children? Why? No answer. No answer. Diplomats are rolling out. They're rolling out. It's 4 p.m. It's bankers' hours in, in August. But at least the guys are here. Allison Smale's on vacation. Stefan Dujaric's on vacation. Maria M M Viotti is on vacation. Antonio Guterres, permanent vacation. The roughing up of a journalist on June 22nd, pushed right through that gate, and on July 3rd, beaten up in the Vienna Cafe by Ronald Dobbins and another guy. Yes. And ever since then, I've been banned. I was beaten up, and I've been banned, because the UN is corrupt. It's a Kafkaesque situation. I spoke to him directly. There's no. I asked him directly, why am I banned? Right over there, right by the church. <laughs> Nothing. Nothing. Then he disappeared on a two-week vacation. Do you know what? Even the president of the General Assembly, Mr. Miroslav Lijak, today, through his spokesman, said his 10-day annual leave involved visiting U.S. national parks and no cost to the U.N., no U.N. security. Very simple. Isn't it simple? And Tony Gutierrez, they won't say where he is. Why? He's a god. He's a king. He's the man who took the golden statue. Sorry to say it again. He did. He went to Cameroon in October 2017 when there was already evidence of massive mass killing of Anglophones by Paul Bia. And he never went to those areas and he never raised the issue. He took a golden statue and smiled and stayed quiet for the full year since as people were slaughtered and villages burned. And you know what's worse? You know what's worse? It's not just that, Ant that Mr. Antonio Guterres was weak on human rights, because we know that. He did it because he wanted Tomo Monte's support in the Fifth Committee. He wanted procedural and bureaucratic support for his quote-unquote reform proposals, and he was willing to sell out hundreds of Anglophone lives for it. So working theory, we've put in the question, we've asked since Friday, what did he do since October? You'd think they'd want to answer it, but actually they just want to kill a journal, uh, oh, sorry, beat up and put in the street. It's much better. It's true. It's much better. This is the delegate's entrance. These are people that may have come in for the geospedicial year. Or maybe it was something else. Let's, get, let's cast this whole flag situation. We're going to show you, once and for all, the entire... We're, we're going to do the flag. Everything must go. Hang on. We'll end this, this particular broadcast right here. Because that's what we believe. Corruption must be reversed and acted on. Here we are by the United Nations. 
the operative word, not in service. Not in service. An organization that's gotten so bad under Antonio Gutierrez that they stand by while whole communities are destroyed in the Anglophone areas of Cameroon and elsewhere. Let's turn to Yemen, a UN so corrupted that before Antonio Guterres tapped, and tap he did, his envoy for Yemen, Martin Griffiths, the man was interviewed in Riyadh under what can only be called a killer's veto. A UN so corrupted that the top guy doesn't want to say where he goes, and the journalist that asks how he's spending the money gets beaten up and banned for 34 days for a Kafka-esque review that has not involved that has involved a single interview with said journalist about only one incident, and even on that, things were written up, including the allegation of reprisal and retaliation. And so now, we can say, with the flags down, and all officials, not only the Secretary General, his Chief of Staff, long gone, long gone, Yes, it's true. They're fleeing from the ev e exits. The bill to the global taxpayer grows larger, larger all the time, larger all the time, as journalists are beaten up and left frying in the street for 34 days for covering the budget. As Peter Drennan doesn't answer a single mail about misconduct and abuse among his forces, as the blue wall of silence remains disgustingly in place behind these walls. It's an organization in crisis or past crisis. It's an organization being killed. Who killed the UN? The initials are AG.